Uh, and our final uh, story, the final topic of discussion, um, it comes from uh, Gabor Mate. Gabor Mate is Aaron Mate's dad. Uh, Aaron Mate, fantastic journalist, uh, does a show called Pushback. Highly recommend that to, to people. Uh, but I uh, but I remember seeing this a little while back, and uh, uh, I like I like uh, Gabor Mate. He's he's great. I hope I'm pronouncing his name properly too. Uh, I might not be, but uh, he basically said we need to rethink the way we look at addiction. Right? If we look at addiction as a symptom of trauma, it would change fundamentally the way that we interact with each other and the way that we interact with this this thing, this process that that people are going through. Um, that that addiction, you know, is a result of what happens when somebody goes through a traumatic thing. They get they get addicted to to certain things, um, and you know, like drugs, alcohol, that sort of stuff. Uh, and if we look at it that way, it'll start changing a couple of things in our society. And I do think that I do I do agree with him on that point. Like we have to look at what why people choose to be addicted to certain things and if it's related to trauma or or how it's related to trauma rather and i think it would change the way that that law enforcement and criminal justice look at things like drug cases and duis um and they and they would look at it with a more sympathetic light um and possibly be able to offer um help along with the the punishment and the redemption aspect of it. Um, so, you know, if you do get a DUI, it's like, okay, what's going on? What's what's in your personal file? You know, let's look at, let's, let's bring in a trauma caseworker in here and talk to this person. And, um, you know, and, and a great way to do that uh, too is um, MDMA as a therapy aid. Uh, I've mentioned this. I mentioned this in a stand-up act, um, in a show called "Approaching Happiness," where um, basically it's a therapy aid. You 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 give patients uh, a, a specific dose of pure MDMA, not Molly or ecstasy, because those are um, those are cut with other drugs. And it's a therapy aid to get people to open up about. Uh, any sort of trauma that they might have experienced, they um, they don't they don't have the negative aspect of it. They kind of look at it through this either neutral or more positive lens, and are able to just talk about it. And if you're able to talk about it, then you're able to address it. You're able to evaluate with it, and you can figure out methods of coping with it. So MDMA helps us do that. Um, and right now, it's the most researched of all the psychedelic drugs. Um, but I think it would just, but doing this, doing it this way and looking at addiction as a symptom of trauma might also help uh, society reevaluate itself, right? Is, is like how much of our behavior and how much of how we interact with the world around us and how much of how some of these leaders have chosen to um, lead, essentially, is related to their trauma, you know, because because these leaders that we elect into office are not gods. They are human beings just like us, you know. So so what what got them to the point where they are leaning so hard to being addicted to money? That's something that that you can look at. What 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 happened in their childhood? What happened in their past? Did something you know, did they have to go through some kind of a survival methodology or something? Um you know, in order to get there and then evaluate how we can improve our society based on uh, addressing and coping with trauma that we have induced in ourselves. I, I, I stand by this. I legitimately think that most of humanity is traumatized by its own history. Like our history from from the from the start of recorded history, I think, has, you know, has always had people that come out and it's like, no, cooperation we have to have a sense of community. We have to understand differences. We have to look at people through a compassionate lens. And then you also have the other side that's like, whatever's different, uh, we have to uh, kill it and burn it and destroy it and get it away from us. So, you know, our history has had this huge level of conflict uh, that I think has, has 
traumatized us to a pretty core level. Um, and, you know, now you have ways that you can talk about trauma, talk about these things, and then start changing these different aspects of our society, Ch and changing and understanding uh, humanity a little bit better, understanding the collective consciousness a little bit better, right? Uh, and I think that's, honestly, it's also going to come from, uh, at this point, you know, because we're because we're able to look at what MDMA is doing in terms of being used as a therapy aid, I think we can we can probably get to a point where we can legalize all drugs. And not just legalize it, but we also have to have an education program that is honest. Not not the DARE program, because the DARE program was fucking stupid and terrible. And uh, all it did was create uh, a bunch of scared people that didn't understand what drugs were and, um, you know, said, no, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. It's evil. It's awful. Don't ever experience it. And, and it, you know, kind of built this oppositional level of curiosity and, uh, and didn't really help the case. So a bunch of people started doing, doing drugs and, you know, again, if that helped them get through their trauma, then they 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 keep doing it. Um, so we we have to look at it that way, and we have to legalize and educate people on the reality of drugs, right? Like all of them, all of them. Uh, and and you have to learn how these drugs affect you on a personal level, because uh, it it, it uh, they they affect you differently. Everybody kind of has a different effect. Um, like I'm somebody that if, if I experience cannabis, I'm not like, it doesn't even matter what it is, but usually like, I'm just kind of laid out. I, it just puts me to sleep. It puts me to bed. So I kind of don't really do a whole lot. Um, you know, so it's, but other people don't have that effect. Other people are up and at them. They're fucking buzzing around and they're high as balls all day. And they're like getting books written and they're fucking, you know, get, writing code, and and they're 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 shopping, and they're fucking, they do all that shit, and they're masters at it, and they're very good at. It. I'm just not. I know that's not my, that's not my thing. So so it's it's all. So you can be in a controlled environment. You can study your trauma. You can study yourself. You can be a little bit more introspective about who you are. Um, and, but you should know. You should know exactly what these drugs are doing. Like heroin, for example. Um, you know, Lenny Bruce once described doing heroin uh, as kissing God, which Im immediately to me is just like, nope, don't want to. I'd never want to get anywhere near this. Uh, it's like kissing God. Holy shit. You know, I'm already an anxious person. Like I'm, I'm a ball of anxiety as it is. You know, what if I'm not what if I'm not a good kisser? You know what? I mean, God's probably kissed like so many billions of people and what if like I'm not even fucking top one million you know like what I don't, and I don't even know what God likes you know what is God the type of uh, deity that likes a little little nibble on the lips you know do I go in for a soft kiss am I using tongue how much tongue how much tongue is too much tongue with God it's too much there's too much anxiety involved in this situation but Here's the other side of it, right? Lenny Bruce discovered this kissing God, which is uh, very, very uh, uh, anxiety-inducing for me. But it's also, he said that eventually it, it constipates you so much that in order to poop, you got to take a bath. And I'm not. Uh, I don't know if anybody <laughs> needs to be that dedicated to pooping that it becomes uh, that it becomes an event in your life uh, where it's like oh I think I need to to poop better better get the Epsom salts and uh, and draw up a nice warm bath get some candles lit because yeah I mean come on if you're not, if you're gonna do a bath you might as well do a bath properly you know you're, we're we're not savages here you know you get yourself a you get a a, a nice candle maybe a uh, a, a, a Tori Amos record, you know, and you relax your body, you dip in, uh, and then and then you're you're ready to 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 remove the waste out of your body after years of heroin abuse. But see, this is the sort of thing that I think we need to learn about these drugs, right? Is and if you're doing it in a safer environment, um, it's going to help us a lot more in our society, I think. 
uh, to experience certain things, to to deal with addiction in a, in a specific manner, right? Because if you are doing that, there's going to be a record to say that, uh, you know, Chris came in and he did uh, this much LSD on this date. And then, wait a minute, he's coming back again a day later to do a little bit more wait and then back again and so so then they're like hey what's going on you you keep coming back and doing this treatment are you doing okay what do you do you need to discuss something um and it just fundamentally changes the way that we uh look at mental health the way that we treat mental health the way that we treat addiction um and the way that we are learning to address evaluate and cope with trauma so i so i, I think i think gabor mate is onto something i think we should look at addiction as a symptom of trauma um and uh and and if if we can start looking at it in that in that lens and in that direction uh we we might be able to transform society for the better i think hi everybody thank you so much for watching this video uh i really really appreciate it um i'm going to be making daily videos so make sure you come back to this channel make sure that you are subscribed you hit that bell so you're getting the notifications uh because we are going to be putting up videos every single day uh keeping you guys updated on what's going on around the world keeping our critical thinking skills uh up to date as well uh talking about some interesting ideas talking about some topics that you won't hear on your corporate mainstream outlets. Um, I'm also a touring stand-up comedian, uh, but uh, at the moment, I don't have any live stand-up comedy dates to tell you guys about. So uh, if you have the means to and would like to, to, to donate to this channel, to donate to uh, creating videos to improve the quality and quantity of these videos, feel free by, uh, by going to ramennoodlescomedy.com slash donate that's r-a-m-a-n noodlescomedy.com slash donate there you will find various different ways that you can either become a sustaining member uh, via those big orange buttons patreon bandcamp and even paypal uh, or by just making a one-time donation uh, via the aforementioned paypal venmo cash app uh, whatever you feel most comfortable doing and that's if you have the means to do it i understand that we're all struggling through this time uh, so all of these videos are going to be available for free and like i said will be up every single day and a huge way that you can help uh is by sharing these out uh hit it hit it up on your social feeds on on the on the twitters and the and the alternative social feeds and the instagrams and the facebooks just share it around tell it tell as many people as you possibly can uh, especially if you enjoy uh, the topics that we are discussing on this channel and once again make sure that you are subscribed you hit that like button um, and get uh, get new eyes on this channel thank you guys so much uh i, I and everybody that's already become a sustaining member or a patron um or has donated uh, thank you so much. It really, really means a lot, and it helps. Every little tiny bit helps in uh, in in in, the, in this time of of need. So uh, be good to each other. Stay safe out there, and we'll see you tomorrow with new videos.